Bell's Secret. Following a routine paired with Bell's Secret all natural and hydrating, plant-based brightening facial wash and moisturizer, acne eraser kits, black soaps, detox masks, and much, much more. You can rid yourself of dark spots, acne, and dry skin using Bell's Secret Gold Skin Collection. Your skin is the first part of your body everyone sees, and hydration is essential to keeping your skin healthy and slows down aging. Shop bellsecret.org for all of your plant-based skincare products now using the link below. Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. <sighs> all right. Young Pharaoh. Yes. This is the first ever viewer's choice interview. You called last week. It was mm. last week, right? Or the week before? Something like that. And you were like, I need you to interview me. So I was like, okay. But it was so much to compile. I couldn't really mm. get a lot of the stuff that I wanted to get. So I just asked the viewers to kind of step in. That's right. And help me to conspire questions because a lot of your content is not available anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, on YouTube. On YouTube. Now, you do have other apps. We've talked about that, and we'll right. talk about that later on in the interview. But I, I got to tell you this. You probably may be shocked. I didn't want to give you this interview. You didn't? I didn't. I ain't shocked at that. You know how people, I mean, you probably thought I was controversial. It's not. Listen, I'm controversial, but mm. I guess the actions that went on, and we're going to talk about this later, mm. between you and the mother of your children, mm -hmm. it rubbed me the wrong way. I'm, 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 I'm sure it did. You know, and me yeah. and you, we had a conversation. I was a little upset, so I hung yes. up the phone. Yes. Because there were some things that you said, and I was just like, I, I, I didn't think that you heard exactly what you were saying. I think you, I, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt that you were heated and you were just going off. Or did you know exactly what you were saying in that phone call? Um, I wanted, I wanted to be, we got to bring the words up. The words but up? Most likely, I probably knew exactly what I was saying. You said I hit her. No. She said I hit her. I so said, did you put is, hands on her? You said I did. No. When I grabbed my, when I threw my baby mother out the house, right? Okay. When I got her to the garage. Okay. I definitely gave her a little, <laughs> real quick. But, but I didn't scrape my baby mother. But you I didn't are, whoop my baby mother but, ass. But you are a weapon. You know that, right? You're a trained martial artist. You're exactly. a weapon. Exactly. But let me say this. Okay. Right? Women terrorize behind the scenes. Okay. Women terrorize and they act like they don't. Okay. They break shit, bust windows. Okay. Now let me okay. say this, right? And I'm going to let everybody know from this point on, this is Tasha K. Okay. You feel me? You know I told you for this start. You asked me. I don't know. You, nothing's off limits. With me, we can okay. get spicy on this moment. I don't have nothing to hide. Okay. So, from this point on, I, I want to conduct myself with a, with my with my level of professionalism I've been conducting myself with. Okay. But we gonna keep it raw, raw, raw right here. Okay. My baby mother is lucky I don't beat her ass, and I don't fuck who watching. I need to beat her ass, but I don't put my hands on women. So my baby mother, both my baby mothers take advantage of the fact that I, I'm on a spiritual path. They know I'm not gonna put my hands on them. So they terrorize when they think ain't nobody looking. My 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 daughter's mother, who I threw out of my house, she came in my house. I told her not to come in my house. She's even on the internet admitting. I told her, I said, do not come in my house. I'ma bring the kids out. She snuck in the house through my videographer because I don't put people in my business. I didn't tell my videographer that my baby mother is not allowed in my house right now because she refuses to have self-control and she thinks she can curse me out, break shit when she want, talk about she's going to have her brother shoot me up, all that shit that she don't want to say that she do on the camera. She is the aggressor and she be trying to play me like I'm pussy. Why? Because I've been with her for five years. I've never told no gangster stories around her. I've never told no prison stories around her. She don't really know how I give it up in the street because I'm not saying I'm not that's not a part of my past, but I'm not proud of that. I was misled by a lot of people. I was misguided by a lot of people. I'm not proud of a lot of things I've done in my life. So I don't talk about it. I've never had guns well, and shit well, in the house. Well, let, well, let's talk about it, okay? Right. Because, I mean, if you have presented yourself one way to your children's mothers, but yet you're no, one she know way I'm in the street. No, she's been on Sherman with me. 
She been on the block. So with both me. both of your baby mothers know exactly. How I met you my were. baby. I met my son mother when I was trapping. Okay. And she she gonna lie right now on the mm-hmm. internet. See, this is what it is, Tasha. These middle class women, and I'm saying middle class because mm-hmm. my son mom, cheek the waga, white people. Okay. Grew up around white people. No disrespect to white people, because obviously I got white friends. No disrespect, but she grew up around white people. She now this is unbeknownst to me because I've never in my life been a woman beater. Never. Never. I put that on my eternal soul. But you want to beat your baby mother's ass. I can say that. I can say that. That you want to beat their ass. So, I should have so beat her ass. They get on, I should have. So if they get on the internet and they call the police and they pull this I interview should've. and say that, you see? So why don't you believe that he whooped my ass? Listen, I've been in prison. Okay. I've been in situations where I can say, Sergeant, me and him, we don't really get along. All right. I really want to whoop his ass. So I'm telling you right now, either, 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 either you're going to get him off the unit or I'm whooping his ass mm. because of he did this, that, and the third. Look, so look. my thing is when it comes to talking to authority, to the police, it's freedom of speech. I can, alert, I can alert you if I'm having a problem with somebody. I can do that. If I say, hey, this woman comes over here and breaks shit. This woman come over here and be all up in my face. This woman come over here and threaten to have her brother shoot me. This woman come over here and lie. This woman come over here and sneak through my phone when I'm asleep and, and say this to that person and then lie to me and say this person said that and didn't say that. This is the same motherfucker who is trying to be my best friend right now. If I show you my text messages right now, Golden is a whole nother person in his phone. So it's not wrong for me if I say. Well, I, want, I want to see that phone. I got you. And later. I want to see that phone. And so my thing. Go ahead. But let me, let me, let me back up a little bit because I just wanted to tell you that it just, you know, to hear you preach for so many years about black empowerment, black people being successful and the black woman is God, and yet you sit up here and say, I want to beat my baby mother's ass, That's who a is fact. a black woman who birthed your children. And exactly, it, it hits and she betrayed di- It hits different. But you're not looking at the, you're not looking it, at the fact. But it hits, di- you are a public figure. I don't care. You're, you're not Joe I'm Blow a hum- in the street. I'm a, I am a, you're human. I'm a self-made, but you're ex- I'm a self-made young black So if CEO. you're self-made, you should know how to handle your emotions. I, and, I'm, and I'm handling them. Dragging your baby mother out of the house? Listen to me. My baby mother snuck into my house. Okay. Bust a hole in my goddamn wall. Okay. Broke my mother's spiritual statue. Now, I don't know what your spiritual belief says, but breaking my shit would be like going into a church Mm -hmm. and knocking down a cross. Mm. It would be like going to Tibet with the Buddhist monks and knocking over Buddha. Okay. That woman came in my house, and my white videographer will tell you, she took my statue and threw my shit on the floor. She took my other Egyptian statue and threw so, my shit so through the wall. So you didn't know what that meant when she did that? What do you mean I didn't know what it meant? You didn't know what, as someone who's as educated as you claim to be, you didn't know what breaking that statue meant to her. What message she was trying to send you. I don't you give you a, teach a lot of shit I don't give you. a fuck what message she was trying to send. I wasn't being aggressive. I wasn't being combative. Okay. I wasn't breaking shit. She okay. came in there breaking shit. I asked her to leave okay. probably 20 times in a row. Now, you know that's kind of hard to believe because you are very, <laughs> she don't got very, it. very animated online. Listen, I so told it's hard that. for us to believe that but you're it's also, not. It's all, that same incident is okay. on camera and I got my camera right here saying this, pointing at my ba-. She put my baby on the floor and I told her, pick my baby up. Just like this. Pick my baby up. Why you got my baby on the Why you got my daughter on the floor? Ah, 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 ah. I'm like, listen, pick my baby up. This is a hard ass floor. She's not in danger. Ah, 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 ah. I was calm. I was calm. I was calm. I was calm. Because I don't like to fight with, with females. So why you couldn't pick the baby up? I end up getting the baby. <laughs> and we and she ended up getting drugged. I end up giving the baby to my uh And and you drug her out of your house. Drug that ass right out my where, house. Where are you from? I'm from Buffalo, New York. Okay. I'm trying to figure out because you're very... And she's on camera. And when I drug her, I want to let you know she's on camera. Okay. And I drug her just like this. I'm in control. I'm calm. I ain't doing too much. And I drug that ass on camera. Why didn't you just call the police? I did. 
Because she wouldn't leave. Well, it, it, in the video, she called the police. She lied. Y'all, not you, but y'all women lie. How she called the police? I called them. I will show you a text message from her yesterday saying, you the one who called the police. I called the police because I told her, listen, you out here acting ghetto as fuck. We in this white people neighborhood. I didn't leave the streets to be dealing with this shit. And I tell her all the time, do not come here with that ghetto, ratchet, nasty, Oakland ass bitch attitude. I don't want to deal with that. You doing wild, embarrassing shit. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing as fuck. What was your childhood like coming up? My childhood was great until my uh the, the black women in my family pushed my. Oh, don't don't try yeah, to put no, this no, on no, black women. No, 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 I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. You gaslighting now. I'm doing that. You gaslighting. What you asking Because if the same childhood? thing keeps happening to you, you have to take a step I got back an auntie, and take a listen, look. Listen, all at the self. all the all the black women women in my family were toxic. My okay. grandma my grandma used to get drunk and wave her shotgun at us. Okay. Toxic. I had another aunt used to buy all my cousins. Freezes and candies never bought me shit. Okay. Toxic. Used to let my other cousins play the game, never let me play the game. Toxic. Every black woman in my life that I've ever been in the care of has done me filthy. And I was a kid. And you I just not realize that? I've been realized that. That's why I don't fuck with none of them. So who are you fucking now? But I stayed now? loyal. Who am I fucking? Yeah, who are you fucking now? Black, black women, women, white women? Black, 